In this video, I want to talk about the electrostatic force, which sometimes is also called uh, Coulomb's force. Now, what is the electrostatic force? It is the force of attraction or repulsion between two charged objects. If both objects are positively charged, they will be uh, repelling each other, pushing each other away. If both of them are negatively charged, they will also uh, repel each other. The only way that they will attract is if one of them is positive and the other is negatively charged. Now, if you want to calculate uh, what the magnitude of Coulomb's force or the electrostatic force is, we can use Coulomb's law. There's two versions of this law. One is a vector equation. Uh, which I'm going to leave for another video. And there is the magnitude equation here, which says simply that the force is proportional to a constant called the Coulomb's constant times the magnitude of the first charge times the magnitude of the second charge over uh, the distant square. If we look at an example, let's say we have one charge of 3 uh, times 10 to minus 6 Coulomb, and we have another charge of minus 2 times 10 to minus 6 Coulomb in a distance of 1 centimeter, and we want to know the force in between them. Now, we already know one is positive, one is negative, so we know that the forces will attract each other. Now, if I write this out, I had my force is equal to the constant, so times 9 times 10 to the 9, Newton uh, square meter per coulomb squared times my first charge, which was 3 times 10 to the 6, minus 6 coulomb times minus 2, but it's a magnitude equation. We just take the magnitude of the charges, so uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 6 coulomb and then over the centimeter we need to convert to meters otherwise with this constant we wouldn't get newtons so divided by 1 times 10 to minus 2 squared square meter and if you look at the units the square meter cancels out the coulombs cancel out and I end up with Newton, as I should, for my force. Now, if I type this in my calculator, I know I'm going to mess up the powers of 10, so I like to do this separate. So for my calculator, I'm going to just take the numbers 9 times 3 times 2 over 1 squared. Actually, I don't even need a calculator. That's 54, right? And then for the powers of 10, I'm going one by one. So I have plus 9, minus 6, minus 6, and then minus minus 4, 2 times minus 2, so plus 4. Uh, so it gives me 10 to the power of 9 minus 6 is uh, 3, minus 6 is minus 3, plus 4 is plus 1. So that gives me uh, 540 uh, newtons.